boys family welcome back to my channel tia topics i'm tia and today's topic is how we are going to organize in order to accomplish all of our goals for 2023 because we just have to like we just have to and if you hear anything in the background i apologize in advance but i live on a highway and it's really hard to get any quiet time but i'm not gonna let that stop me if you are new to the channel welcome if you are returning subscriber from like two years ago because i have not been on this platform for like two years it feels good to be back i'm really looking forward to this new journey and this new type of content i plan on putting out now we're talking about how you can organize your life and plan everything out for your 2023 year so that you and i because i want this to be like an accountability thing and that's really why i started making videos again I need somebody to hold me accountable for the things that I say I'm going to do. Before I get into the steps, I just want to show you guys that this is actually one of my goals for 2023, a planner. And it's going to help me stay organized. And if you guys want to purchase one, it is definitely available on Amazon. And I'm going to link that below. And I'll show you a little bit later on what is actually inside of these planners. But I'm so like proud that I actually made this because it's just like... I made something yeah let's get into it i broke it down to five steps and they're very simple and you probably heard this somewhere else but i'm gonna say it again because maybe you'll hear it when i say it first thing that you're gonna want to do get a piece of paper write down i did 12 goals if you want to do 12 goals i did one for every month they are vastly different in like the effort that needs to go into it but they're all very much so important grab a piece of paper you're gonna write down 12 goals or however many that you want i broke my year up into three quarters that's january february march april second quarter is may june july august third quarter is september october november december that's four goals for each quarter do not write in any particular order this is important do not write in any particular order because at this point you want your mind to just flow you want your goals to come to you how they want to come to you so you don't want to stop that that flow of you know the creation of what it is that's going through in your mind that's step number one is to write it down and look at it every single day the next thing you want to do after you have written down all your goals, you put it in order of what makes the most sense. So if something takes around eight months, you don't want to put that in your first quarter. It's not realistic for you to think that you're going to get it done in four months when really it takes eight. This is very important because this is going to keep your motivation up. Because if you are putting a goal that takes eight months in your first quarter and you don't get it done, you're going to hinder yourself because you're going to feel like you're not accomplishing your goals you're going to get you know sad and all those nasty feelings the third step in this process is going to be taking all of those goals that you wrote down so for me it's 12 taking the 12 goals you're going to put it on a separate piece of paper each having its own piece of paper and on that paper you're going to write down everything that you think that you need to do to get that goal done you're going to do a little bit of research, not too much, because this process is not supposed to take too long. You can do more research as time goes by and as you get more in depth with that one goal, but not right now. Right now, we're just writing out the outline in order for us to get it together. The fourth thing that you need to do is form it into a checklist. As you learn more about what it is that you're reaching for, you're going to learn more of the specifics of what it is that you need to do and what you need to get done. Something that you may have not thought about in the beginning, but now you're like, oh yeah, I definitely need to do this. So write the checklist out with what you have, but don't get discouraged if down the line, like there's more stuff that you need to add onto it because you didn't know everything going into writing this list. This is just to start you off so that you have a clear-cut vision of what your future looks like. And that is so important. The only way anything is going to happen is if you have a vision, if you can see it. And practically, if you could, like, put yourself in that situation and kind of, like, live in it, even if it hasn't happened yet. In order of what it is that you need to do and what needs to be done first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, whatever, whatever. And as you accomplish these things, you're going to check them off as you go. This is the most important part to keep revisiting and check it off as you go because that's going to keep your motivation up. That's going to keep you more willing to keep going and to 
and to just get it done because you're like okay i'm making leeway when you're not checking in on your goals you're gonna feel like you're stagnant you're gonna feel like you're not accomplishing anything it's so easy to overlook everything and how far you've actually come so checking it off is the most important part going back in and checking it off now that we have our checklist what you want to do is either do a daily schedule or you can do a weekly schedule i've mostly been doing like writing out by the week and not really going in and writing my specifics blocks for each day or whatever i used to do that i might start doing it again i don't know but writing it out by the week and having it all planned out or what i'm gonna do for that day in a week's form rather than a daily form it's been working for me and i like it tell me which way it works for you down below in the comments now in that fifth step the most important thing that you want to remember is to incorporate a little bit of something of every single one of those goals during that week or making sure that you're spacing things out to the point where you're not too involved with one thing that you're forgetting about the small aspects that you told yourself you were going to include in that week what, what step was that that was step four no that was step five did i say it was six steps or five steps Honestly, organizing your year and organizing your life can be so simple. It does not have to be as complicated as a lot of people make it out to be. The simpler the better because you are going to be motivated to keep going. You have to make sure that you're showing up and you have to make sure that you're going in and you're looking at this book every single day. That's the only way that you're going to feel motivated and keep going. And even when motivation is not enough, the fact that you're staying so consistent, that is going to like, push you so far in helping you accomplish your goals for me i know when i'm accomplishing my goals i'm not tired like i could go to sleep at one o'clock in the morning and wake up at five and i'm not tired because i know i'm getting things done like i'm excited for life like when you're going in the right direction you are excited for life you keep going and you just don't stop because why would you stop <laughs> like you're you're making things happen you're making the things that you said you want it to happen so um those are the steps and now i want to show y'all a clip of what is in this book or actually no i'm just gonna show you because i don't want to go back and add a clip or whatever i can't really show you this one because i've already started writing in this one and it has this not for sale come on focus it has this not for resale across it because this is this was the proof that i ordered just so i made sure that everything was okay for when i published it but i love that it has that because it's so like authentic or whatever want to buy one i will have the link down below for my amazon link i don't have a store yet because they said i'm not important enough to have a store i don't have enough supporters or whatever anyways so i'm going to show you what is inside this book and also i don't know i just love this book anyway but i can't show you this one because I already started writing in this one and one thing that we're doing this year with our goals we are gatekeeping our goals okay we are gatekeeping them we're keeping them locked up until they have manifest how they're supposed to manifest that's what we're doing okay because you don't know people's energies like you don't know how they feel about your goal and that might rub off on what it is that you want to get done and that's not okay that's not what we're about to do this year but what we're not gonna do we're not going to gatekeep the resources that we are using to accomplish our goals we need to share those things because knowledge is power and everybody could eat everybody could flourish and you should not be gatekeeping resources because why like but i'm going to show you this one because i have not started writing in this one so yes can you see first up, open it up this is what it says and you are to write your name right here yes i'm on the floor we have a calendar of the whole entire year this page is the area where you are going to write your goals for the year and you're going to write them in the present tense i did not say that but you're going to write them in the present tense that's important you're going to write it as if you already possess it the space for your free time goals quote unquote um so anything in this area you're gonna put your goals that might not necessarily be your main goals but they're definitely something that you want to see happen this year now next there's a space for the dumping ground section and then there's a checklist and there are weekly to do pages here there are monthly reviews there are quarterly reviews 
and if you follow me on instagram you'll be able to more see what exactly is in these planners like i said if you want to cop one it's on amazon and yeah sum it up those are the five steps that you need to take in order to accomplish all your goals for 2023 well we need to accomplish all of our goals for 2023 because we're doing this together so comment down below if you're about to be joining me on this journey of success for this year i need a team you might need a team if you need a team we could team up together because why not <laughs> yeah so that's it that's all i have to say follow me wait was i just summing yeah i was just summing it up so i was gonna sum up the five steps so the first step is to write down however many goals that you want to accomplish this year the second thing is going to be organize that list in the order of which it makes the most sense for it to happen based off of how big or how small that goal is the third step is going to be to have a dumping page so this dumping page is going to have everything that you think that you're going to need to do for it and this is the page that you're not going to do much research for you're just going to write down these the common things that you think that you're going to need for that one goal the fourth step is going to be to take that dump ground page and organize it into a checklist in order of when these things need to happen so you're gonna set due dates for these things to happen and you're gonna spread it out over time the fifth thing to do is you're going to spread it out over time you're gonna block it into a week format or you're gonna block it into a daily format whatever helps you the most and whatever you are the most comfortable with I really like the weekly blocking form you're going to go in and check off what it is that you do when you do it to keep your motivation up so those are the five steps that's gonna get us to success for the 2023 year i hope that you have found some type of value in this video i'm not trying to be too like stern on these things because i just don't want to do that i look forward to working with whoever is watching this video in the comments or on instagram or whatever to accomplish our goals together whatever information i get i'm gonna be trying to give it to y'all and that's really one of my goals just to reach out to help other people accomplish their goals while i'm accomplishing mine because i don't know that's just that's just the way that my life is going and that's how i feel like i i can be of some use to this world so thank you for watching comment down below subscribe um turn on your post notifications everything that you know people be saying do all of that um yeah there they are